Hello there, this is Deborah, and today I am making some face lotion. Uh, the recipe called it um, anti-aging face lotion, but I'm not calling it that. <laughs> uh, I'm using some rose water, some uh, rose hip seed oil, some avocado kernel oil. Uh, I'm going to be using some vitamin E and some preservative, which is called Optifin Plus. Uh, it's formagohyde free and paraben free. I'm uh, also going to be using some emulsified wax, which I was too in a hurry here. I'm also going to be using this little air bottle and this little bottle here. This is actually a small batch that I'm making. So these are just some of the containers that you can use when you're making this particular product. Now this air bottle, I'm just in love with these little guys. Uh, it keeps contamination away from your products and uh, it's, it's pretty. It just dress up really nice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weigh out my rose water here. This is a Morocco rose water. It smells really good. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot of products. Uh, one, two, three uh, sets of products. So right now the theme for this particular product, I don't know if it's going to be three products or four products. I already have, the lo uh, I already have some of the products made that's made out of the roses, have that rose smell to them. So um, I didn't skip Easter, it's just I'm working on some Mother's Day products. Uh, my farmer's market usually start about that time, around that time of Mother's Day, so I like to have these products ready. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tear that out and I'm gonna go ahead and my little measuring glass here down and uh, this is a small batch and this is emulsified wax suki wax that I'm using it doesn't take much because like I said this is a very small batch uh, I usually make this product when I have an order and I have just one person wanting this outside of my mom and myself so I'm just making a small batch to show you I will be making a lot more for Mother's Day coming up okay Go ahead and weigh out my. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rose hip seed oil. Now this is a yellowish kind of a gold rose hip seed oil. I'm not sure if it comes in other colors. I'm sure it probably does, but this is particular one that I have. So I'm gonna be probably putting a little mica, kind of a pink mica to it, because I want it to have kind of a pale pinkish color to it. Not too much, just a little bit. If you've never made lotion before, um, hopefully this will help you. But these are basic things here. But it would be a good idea to get some books and do a little reading. I'll go to the library and see if you can find some books. You know, that's what I did when I first started making products. I learned all I could learn about them. Because uh, when you're going to sell them to the public, you want to make sure your products are up to sniff there. Um, I do have a tester that I test my products to make sure they're uh, yeast free and bacteria free, germ free should I say. And my whole area has all been cleaned up. Hold on, I'm coming right back. Don't go away now. Just needed to get some more little measuring uh, glasses here. I'm going to go ahead and measure out my, uh, my uh, apricot kernel oil here. Like I said, this is a small batch, but I will be making a huge batch because <laughs> uh, this smells really good. And uh, it has some amazing properties, that rosehip oil. Like I said, I put a few of the properties, but if you Google, you're going to find a lot, a lot of products. Okay, um, this is that one phase, phase one. So I'm going to walk away and go ahead to the stove now and... So I'm going to take you over to the stove here. Now, I have a double boiler here. This is actually a mixing stainless steel bowl that's inside of this uh, big pot here. Even though this is a small uh, amount of ingredients, this is kind of my go-to pot. <laughs> so it works out really good. So um, I'm going to be bringing my temperature up to like 180. And... Uh, I'm going to hold it there for just a little bit. Now, if you're using unrefined butters, you want to hold the mix 
of the temperature for 20 minutes to kill any germs or bacteria that may be in the butter because it is organic. Uh, so be careful not to overheat your butter as well. So like I said, I'm just holding it there uh, for that moment. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take a temperature here. Make sure it's holding at 180. Um, getting it ready. And it looks like it's doing pretty good there. Okay, I will be microwaving my um, rose water. I want to bring the temperature up to like 140. If it's 139, it's okay, 140 somewhere. You don't want to get it too hot. Uh, I could have put this in the oven, but I really want on the oven, on the stove rather, but I just wanted to just go ahead and do this much this way. So, just gonna let it go for a little bit there. Get my temperature up where I need it to, to be at there. And one of the reasons for that is you wanna make sure that your oils and your you want to make sure that your water is warm enough so that when you mix your oils along with the oils and the emulsified wax that you put in this container here like I'm doing, you want to make sure that they're going to emulsify together. And that does take some warm water. Not boiling hot water or anything like that, but it takes anywhere temperature between 139 and 140. And like I said, I'm going to have this about 140. It was 140 a second ago, it was like 130. I'm moving the camera, just moving this just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So as I pour my rose water in, you can see that it's kind of getting kind of milkish looking. And the reason for that is because that is part of that uh, silky wax in the oil starting to emulsify. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend them just a little bit there. Now my oils, everything's kind of yellowish. Like I said, I was gonna put a pink mica just to give it just that pale pink to uh, represent the, uh, the little gift set that I'm going to be doing to represent the rose the rose color okay I'm going to be using some mica here by B Senate it's called red hot red high heels uh, if you put it on really light it comes out kind of a pink color if you put it really heavy you get more of the red so I'm just adding just a little bit just to get me sort of a pale pink color just to tint the, uh, the oils that was kind of a yellow um, so let's see I'm trying not to miss too many steps here because I really want to tell you everything I'm doing here. What I'm doing right now is taking the temperature because I need to make sure the temperature is lower before I put my preservative in it. Depend on the preservative that you're using. Different ones call for different temperatures. Some is below 140, some is below 170. But this particular one I believe is below 170 but I'm, I'm going to take it down to below uh, about 110 because uh, if you put your preservative in your ingredients while it's too hot it's going to burn off your preservative and then your preservative won't be able to do the work that it needs to do uh, in order to determine how much preservative you want to put in your products it depends on how much uh, how many how much ingredients how much your ingredients weigh your oils your waters and everything like that uh, this particular uh, preservative uh, can be used at 0.75 to 1.5 percent works best for the formulations uh, for this particular one below a pH of pH balance of six uh, it also depends on the formula itself uh, it also can be effective if you use it in a formula with a pH level above just a little above six uh, pH above six but I have a home tester where I make sure test my pH balance before so I kind of know so there's a lot more to this than you think than just throwing some ingredients together uh, you got to do your homework uh, here on YouTube you can be shown a lot but nothing's better than just reading and learning for yourself also it's just more nuggets <laughs> more nuggets in your golden bag okay I'm I have a syringe here and I've already uh, have some uh, lotion in it and I'm going to be putting it in my little containers here um, 
This is actually a turkey syringe that you inject the turkey. It's a brand new one, of course. <laughs> uh, I've been buying a few of these because I really like the way they work. I'm actually looking into some bigger ones, which I found, because uh, this works a lot better for me than having to put it in a bag. Although this was fluent enough, I could have poured it right out of the out of the uh, out of the uh, measuring cup. But uh, this is pretty cool. I like this. One thing about these air bottles, you got to make sure there's a little plastic disc inside or metal disc. I don't know, depending on what products you have. If it's not all the way down, uh, when you go to put your uh, your lotions or your products inside, uh, it's kind of a false sense because there's still room for more. So I will take care of that later. Now, I'm not sure why I'm going ahead and <laughs> doing this because you really want, you don't ever want to put the top on your products that has uh, preservative in it probably any products until they cool down a little bit even on your lip balms and stuff you want to make sure they're cool before you put the top on it that keep moisture down and what when you don't got moisture it'll save you from having bacteria even with preservative you just don't want to have moisture in your product so I kind of got ahead of myself but anyway I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to let that cool down and I will put the top back on later um this one that I'm doing in this little, just plain old plastic uh, bottle here. This is for me. I love this product and I was kind of low, so I'm going to be uh, making a little bit more for me and for my customer and my mom. But I'm going to be making a lot for Mother's Day because uh, these are really nice products and they do really good. Like I said, if you look up Rose Hip, Rose Hip Seed Oil, you're going to find a lot of amazing uh, properties that it has in it so just look it up for yourself just google it and you'll find out uh, i'm not trying to uh, say that i'm i'm not no pharmaceutical or anything so i'm not selling this i'm not telling you that this heal you or take away anything but it does work for me and it works for my customers that likes it so just try it for yourself now i'm not like i said i'm not claiming any healing properties here so i don't want to get that twisted there so I don't want the pharmaceutical or anybody coming up to me saying that my products are heal you or cure you or do any of that stuff. Because we're not allowed to say that. And that's fair enough because there's a reason why we're not. Because we're not a pharmaceutical. And these are just products here that uh, I think you're going to enjoy. So this one is for my mom. Uh, I like to give her a lot of products. I love my mother. I hope if you have a mother still alive that you're keeping in touch with her. Uh, because the people who have lost their mother, they know how important it is. They miss them. Uh, but anyway, um, I don't give her that much soap anymore because she just kind of collects the soap and use it like for decoration. So I just kind of send her products that I know she's going to use like hair formula and hair grease, stuff like that. <laughs> Lotions and body butters and stuff. Okay, I ramble on enough. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your time watching this long video. Oh, wow. thank you so much so with that being said here we go this is the finishing product and thank you so much for watching this video guys please check back for the new products that's coming out real soon thank you so much have an awesome and a blessed day bye now